Japanese don't like the PSA 10s no more. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, so the intro is probably a little bit dramatic, but there is something pretty interesting happening with PSA 10 cards in the Japanese market right now. Um, and it's not with all PSA 10 cards, but it is, uh, you know, there is a significant amount, um, which raises some eyebrows on, you know, what's going on. Um, but what it is, is there's PSA 10 cards being on, uh, put up for sale on these Japanese websites like Mankari, Yahoo Auctions, and other, you know, other sites that are frequently used over there to sell cards. And, um, and people are noticing that the PSA 10 price of the card is pretty much the same as the raw price of the card. Sometimes there's instances where the raw price is actually a little bit more, which is pretty interesting, pretty wild, because um, that's not like something we see here usually in the West. Um, you know, everybody knows that PSA 10s, there's a premium, there's potential profit margins. A lot of people create business models around these, um, around, you know, the PSA 10s, get, grading PSA 10s. So um, it's interesting to see that these cards are going for the same or less. You still have to factor in, you know, shipping costs to PSA, the time it takes of grading, um, your money's tied up in the, in, you know, in, in that, that asset or investment or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, pretty interesting in my opinion. Um, there's a few Twitter accounts, Japanese Twitter accounts that I follow. And one of them is, uh, actually gives some reasons why they, uh, they're speculating why they believe this is happening. And I'm just going to go ahead and read some of those. Um, some of them I agree with and some of them I'm kind of, yeah, I think they're more effect than cause, but, um, yeah. So the first one is, uh, a decrease in the number of shops that will buy the PSA slabs. Like I said, I think this is more of an effect rather than cause, um, just with the uncertainty of how PSA, um, the grade is going to affect price and how the Japanese market is going to value those. Um, the second reason they give is the decrease in PSA submission hurdles. So yeah, um, there's less barrier to entry with the Japanese Pokemon, uh, Japanese PSA office opening in Japan and actually grading the cards there. Um, people are probably more comfortable sending their cards to um, Japan and not having them sent across the ocean to the States. So um, more people are sending them there. The wait times are longer or less than they were. They're like five months now and they were eight or nine months previously. Um, also, the prices come down a bit. And the third reason given is that the PSA 10, it could also, um, it doesn't translate well, I guess, over to the Japanese grading scale. The Japanese grading scale, they use like a letter scale with... Um, uh, S being the top and then A, B, C, D, um, D being the worst. Um, but there, this, uh, post on Twitter from this account says that PSA 10 could be sometimes, uh, even a B class card, um, with some whitening, which may or may not. Um, I guess I would say it's probably not that common that a, a PSA 10 does have whitening on it. Um, if it does, it's very minimal, but I guess they see those, um, inconsistencies and, um, being that the PSA 10 is the highest uh, grade and a PSA card can get. Um, I guess it would for somebody that is not used to using PSA's grading scale. Um, here in the West, we've had it forever, but for somebody that's new to it or some market that is new to it, um, it would it would be confusing. I could see how um, you would think a PSA 10 would be a perfect copy, especially if the grading scale you're used to um, has a perfect tier ranking. Um, he does later mention that there is the, the BGS black label, something that's... Um, not as common as PSA cards in the Japanese market, but that there is um, upward compatibility for that um, um, to be possible. The The next reason that they uh, mention in this post uh, as to why the value of PSA 10s has gone down is the uh, the amount of counterfeits that are out there. There's, a, I guess, a significant amount of counterfeits, either with it being cards or being slabs, but um, that they're not easily determined whether, um, you know, on at least online that they're counterfeit or not. Um, so that's, you know, uh, taken away from some of the value of PSA cards. Um, the next reason is the lack of stability um, that's essential for investing. Maybe not essential, but um, maybe it's just a translation error, but the, the lack of stability that is um, wanted when you're investing. And if you can't have, I don't know if this is referring to the, the PSA, stability of PSA grading or the stability of the the market, the way the market values PSA graded cards. Um, it could apply to both, but um, if you're investing in something, an asset, you, the more you know about it and the, the more confident you are in that asset, um, the, you know, the more likely you are to invest more and feel more comfortable doing so. And if there's a, you know, an inconsistency in grading or if the market hasn't flushed everything out and 
PSA cards, you don't know where they're going to land right now. Um, that can make it, um, you know, the value go down for right now because, you know, investors are not as confident in the in investing in the, the asset. And that's that's pretty much it. That's all he really says. I, I would add that there's more Japanese grading card, uh, card grading companies coming up in Japan. And some of those car, uh, companies like ARS, ARS is a really good example. Um, they're grading the cards. If they're Japanese, they're grading uh, on the labels and on the certificates that the cards come with after graded. They are putting everything in Japanese text, um, which is, I think it's a cool thing. Um, if you have a Japanese card, why not have a Japanese label? Um, and then if the card is, they also grade uh, non-Japanese cards. If it's any other language, they'll just put it in English. Um, but yeah, I think that could maybe be a reason. Um, maybe, you know, they're um, the market's trying to push ARS or push other gr Japanese grading companies to be, you know, valued uh, higher than a PSA slab. Um, but this, like I said, this is all speculation. Um, I, I think the greatest reason, though, is probably uncertainty in, in the market right now and how to value these cards. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Let me know if you think there's other reasons for this or if this is just a fluke, a one off, something that's just, uh, you know, temporary in the market. Um, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to bring that information to you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for spending time here on the channel. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your days to come listen to me rant. Um, I appreciate it more than you can know. So um, yeah, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.